Recently I reviewed a new rifle from Webley, the military looking Enforcer PCP. A terrific budget gun, but perhaps it's not to everyone's taste. Well if you don't like your non-traditional rifle in ballistic polymer and prefer some nice traditional walnut to mix up the proceedings, then look no further than the Webley Mastiff 12. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Well, it's budget time again, and before you rush out to fill the car up with fuel and get your booze and cigs in before the price increases, I'm talking about budget rifles, not the dreaded red box. Today, I'm gonna to be looking at another new rifle from the guys at Webley. It's the rather unconventional Bullpup. The aptly named Mastiff feels like a bit of an SUV of rifles. It's not a traditional length rifle, nor is it a super short bullpup. It is in fact classed as a semi bullpup. Let's take a closer look. Starting with the hardwood walnut ambidextrous stock, which is basically a one piece item. It has beautiful curves and cutouts and feels very ergonomic. The quality of the wood is impressive and at this point I feel I need to make a small confession. I feel irresistibly drawn to get the oils out. Now this isn't some strange and bizarre change from air gun reviewer to Stormy Daniels groupie. The body I want to work oil into is the body of this Webley. Because as good as the stock is, I feel the real beauty of this wood hasn't been brought out yet and would look amazing if worked on just a little. The stock also has an adjustable cheek pad and terrifically designed quick adjustable butt pad. Simply press the button, slide it into the position, release and it locks into place. It's excellent. The stock even comes fitted with swivel studs for a strap. The trigger is two stage and has an adjustable blade which is plastic and could just do with a little sanding down to remove the slight burr. Again, not a big job. The underside of the forestock is stippled for grip and also sports the Webley name built in. Onto the metalwork now. Firstly, the air cylinder, which holds 280 cc's of air at a maximum pressure of 200 bar. Filling this is via the supplied probe and is done at the front and it has a twist dust protector which also houses the filler gauge. Not an ideal place for a gauge if you ask me, but lots of manufacturers seem to like us staring down the business end of a gun when checking the remaining air. The barrel is Webley shrouded or silenced and is pretty efficient at keeping things nice and quiet. Sadly, there is no standard thread on the end of this one for an additional silencer or moderator, as in the Enforcer model. But as I say, it is pretty quiet anyway. Ironically, the scope rail is a weaver rail on this non-military looking gun. Whereas the Enforcer had a Picatinny rail. It has the more desirable side lever action, which I found to be very good quality and faultless in use. And then it holds this standard 12 round magazine, of which two are supplied with the gun in its very useful hard case. Also, as per the Enforcer, loading the magazine is the twist all the way round and load them in reverse type, 
always a little on the overcomplicated side in my view, but that is my personal opinion. And the magazines do perform perfectly well and have never given me any problems. Now I put the Mastiff to the beer bottle top challenge to test its accuracy, set out at 40 meters on a fairly calm day. Here are the results. Pretty good then, and great fun. I maintain this gun is a bit of an oddity, but I take my hat off to any manufacturer out there who is prepared to mix things up a little. It's an SUV of guns, I see it, but I drive an SUV and I love it. I love the looks of this and stand by my desire to get the oil out, which I think would make it look even better. The accuracy is there, the supplied case, two magazines, single shot tray are a real bonus, and at £530 UK this represents really good value for money. And if you're looking for a pretty good quality SUV ballpup rifle on a budget, I would suggest you give this one a closer look. Mm-hmm. <laughs>